Hey everybody, welcome back to Wealth of Nations, Europa Universalis 4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Mathis and Arumba and Quill. Say hello. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was you this time. That was your fault. You did it, <laughs> did it the normal way, and I was ready. <laughs> Let's begin. So, I, I was doing a little bit of map staring, and I found a couple of interesting things. First okay. of all, Morocco kicked Portugal out of Ceuta, which is nice to oh, see. Oh, that is cool. As, as someone who's currently playing as Morocco, I'm always... You know, fanboy them. <laughs> but uh, England took a huge part of Burgundy. And the other thing is, we were doing this whole like Republic themed game here, and we we're just someone was going to maybe play as Novgorod, and we decided against it ultimately because it was too hard. Well, Novgorod is still standing. Yeah. <laughs> they Muscovy has like, been distracted. They've not they been affected at all. No. And they've got a bunch of, well, they're allied with Scotland. That's not really going to be that helpful. <laughs> but the Teutonic Order in Pomerania is actually going to be relatively good for them. It actually seems like um, there's going to be an interesting balance of power over there because Crimea seems to be wrecking the Golden Horde, and if they border Muscovy, that's going to create like a different um, kind of power structure over there because Lithuania, mm -hmm. Novgorod, and Crimea will all be kind of checks to Muscovy's uh, expansion. That's true. Now, is Pomerania going away? Yeah, um, they. I have a mission to take Hinterpommern, Hinterpommern, I guess, but it's uh, it's technically a defensive war, but I'll probably take it anyway. Um, but the other two provinces will be free here. I won't take them, so if, if you want to take one or both of them, then I can't really stop you after our war ends. Oh, I might I do that. There's some nice land there. Yeah. Very true. It's the most, most painful year and a half of truce timer. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting here waiting. I guess I could try to maybe attack Genoa. Hmm? I thought you had to go after Ferrara. I can't. I still have a truce with them for an oh. hour or for, yeah, I was going to say a year and a half, an hour and a half, like <laughs> four videos basically until I can do anything. I will mm. say like speed two has been working out pretty nicely. There's, there's been stuff on the go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Lots of skirmishes. And with the more players you have more consistently, someone's going to be in a war. True. Yeah. yeah. I just got my fourth uh, merchant from the idea group. Yay. That was fast. It was pretty quick. My doge, we have been informed of the commander of the guard in Venezia. The papal state has been discovered fabricating claims on Verona? The papal state? You know that warlike papal state. Yeah, well, I don't know why they're going to attack me. Yeah, the Pope Eugenius IV is a militarist. <laughs> what a douche. Eugenius IV. What a great name. <laughs> if I were Pope, I would be Pope Innocent. Yeah, and That's they use that one That's, multiple times, yeah. I think. So, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It throws your enemies off guard. <laughs> it's like, oh, it wasn't him. Pope Innocent. <laughs> the hell? Austria and I? How you looking, Austria? You only hate me by minus seven, I think, now. It's not bad. It's good to be Austria, man. I know I can Quill's imagine. got, like, plus 100, maybe even more. I'm at plus 160-something. Just everyone's, like, trying to grease their palms a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm currently sitting at 172. Oh, you got me beat by three points. Bohemia. So basically, we guts. can't declare war on each other because whoever declared would then get pounced on by Austria. That's That was one of the reasons that when I saw you were allying with them that I went for them as soon as possible. It's mutually assured destruction. Exactly. But that's fine. You know, we got plenty of powers that we can each kind of right. deal with. Uh, yeah. in we can interim. eat in different directions. And we'll just pull our way all the way down to the ground, or down to the south, and then we'll take out the um, North Italian Federation. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Mathis, that is not Ferrara. <laughs> no, I told you I was busy. I am now I am now improving relations with Mantua, though. Now you are. That I doesn't told you I us. needed a diplomat. <laughs> I was busy. Mantuan opinion of Venice, 19. You're not going to do anything with them for years. <laughs> well... Good things oh. come to those who wait, sir. Ah, uh, shoot. All right. I, I like this better when I had Parma, a five base tax, and Mantua, a nine base tax province. That's a lot of base tax that I'm missing right now. Hmm. Hmm. I finished building that navy. It's an intense mission. Almost a military tech five. Yeah, I am too. Getting there. I'm not even. Ferrara close. is on military tech. Three, and they're kicking everyone's butt. <laughs> it's aristocratic ideas, man. 
Maybe I could make Pomerania a Brandenburgian vassal. Brandenburgian. Oh, and you're a kingdom. See, you can't really annex vassals as a republic because mm. you lose 10 republican tradition every time. Okay. Oh, really? Which is brutal, yeah. Well, like, you lose 10 legitimacy, right? If you annex someone. But that doesn't matter. Legitimacy comes back really fast. But republican tradition is hard to come by. Yeah. Oh, I am at 95 power projection, though, which makes me super happy. Wow. Oh, uh, I'm only at 44. How did you kill that? I kicked the shit out of Denmark. <laughs> nice. My rivals. Hmm. That's what happens. Like I say, you know, you, it's like going to prison the first day. You got to find your biggest neighbor and beat him up. <laughs> I have a, oh, a, a funny story about that. I have never been to prison. <laughs> Go on. But when I was working in Korea, I used that joke like the first day I came into the office. And like some guy was like, hey, your stuff's on my desk. And I was like, yeah, you know, jokingly. Like it's like prison. You got to like beat someone up on the first day or be someone's bitch. And then he was really weird to me for like the next eight months. And then eventually <laughs> like we, we were out drinking and he's like, yeah, dude, when you crack that joke on the first day, I really didn't like you. I was like... I'm not gonna be anybody's bitch, and um, <laughs> he he told it as like this great bonding moment, and I laughed about it. And, but inside my head, I was like, "Oh, so you're crazy," <laughs> and he kind of is. So yeah, so be careful who you tell that joke to. Some people take it quite seriously. Some people take it personally, which is super weird. I wasn't literally gonna make him my bitch. That would be absurd. We were teachers. It'd be just rude. Yeah, it would, it would be quite uncouth, yeah. I wouldn't even want to make him my bitch. That's, I, you don't flatter yourself, mister. <sighs> well, the grace, I mean, at least, if I ever end up at war with Ferrara again, in, a, in an advantaged position, I can do rec Return Core, which is a lot less um, war score, isn't it? Versus Conquest? Or is it the same amount of war score based on the province? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's a cool uh, question. I, I think it's got to be. It's got to be less. It's gotta the be reconquest less. It doesn't give you a. Which is yeah, important. it's the uh, the reconquest CB is seventy. Okay, it says seventy five percent cost. Yeah, I don't have any of those numbers memorized. I just click stuff and things happen. <laughs> That's one of those things. I would. I, I keep complaining about it, but I wish that when you declare a war and you go to the the war screen, that yeah. you in the top left you can see the cast of spell eye. When you hover over that, please just put the damn tooltip that shows what what you get. <laughs> At reduced cost. Like the same tooltip before you declare the war should be on the ledger or on the war oh, yeah. sheet. Mm. Good point. Definitely. Oh, I've got the Conquer Cyprus uh, mission. Well, how convenient. Just in Everything's time. coming up. Hey, Was it Mill House, you know, as you say? Cyprus has nothing to do with Ferrara. I, I, do, I know. I'm working on it. You can be too little too late soon. Are they still at war? Yeah, but they've got... Um, how do I enforce peace? Where is it? They have nine siege progress. They have a 35% chance in two weeks to take the province. I don't. Where's Enforce Peace? Okay, so do you have them at plus 100 yet? No. It doesn't matter. All right, then. I'll you let don't... you know when it happens. You know what I would like very much? If on a rebel army, you could tell what tech level they were. Mm. Yeah. Because I know... want to know if I can go like 12 versus 9 and be 100% safe or not. Because I'm a tech level higher than Mecklenburg was at the time. But I don't know what that means. Oh, like the rebels that you have there. Yeah, yeah. Mecklenburg nationalists. I don't know how tough they are. Mm. Oh, the papacy. I'm not even paying attention to the papacy. I missed it, but also now I'm, I kind of wish we were back in the east where it didn't matter at all. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, let's take some free ducats. Just get an extra couple of mercs and then steamroll these. Wow. Crimea is enormous already. You guys can all see, like, as far east as, like, Kazan and Muscovy, right? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're all western mm. tech, so okay. we can all see the same area. Oh, yeah. Crimea is blobbing out. Are they That's allied unusual. with the Ottomans as they always are? Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> Should really oil this chair a little bit. My apologies. Any other weird changes? All right, so uh, Burgundy is still getting its butt kicked by France. Yeah. It's very bad. France is going to be a big problem. That land, like, that's the land you don't need if you want to form the Netherlands, though, right? That's true. Although, ideally, what you do is you uh, you burn off a vassal. 
You okay. feed them all that land, and then then you declare you become the Netherlands, and they're still your vassal, and then you integrate them after ah, the fact. That it's, makes a lot of it's sense. It's gamey, but it works. Oh, if I'd known Austria was going to come in and help me with these rebels, <laughs> I wouldn't have spent the money on uh, Mercs. Although that's okay, I got some money. I'm going to keep the Mercs around. Austria just decided to give me 3.72 ducats for 20 years. Just out of the blue? Yeah, I'm not even at war. I, oh, I thought war subsidies had to be at war. Like 3.72 a month. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Yeah, and considering I owe 398 ducats, it's uh, pretty welcome. They're basically paying for, like, two advisors. Yeah. Hmm. The other thing I'm forgetting, you can often get trade power from people your who are friendly nearby, yeah. You can basically bully your allies into giving you their stuff. Really? Yeah, like Lundberg here will give me trade power. I forgot yeah, to do that. The, is that just game. in, like, um, economy actions? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't think they hate but, me for it either. It might be but wrong. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't if you if you do that and then you cancel it, they actually take an opinion penalty because you cancel transfer trade power. They're mad because I'm not taking their power anymore. Yeah, minus twenty five. <laughs> I was messing with it in uh, when I tried the Hansa, and I it's weird. I don't know why they would be upset. What I tried to do was I was like, okay, like a precursor I'm transfer to trade war. power. Transfer trade power now, and I'm going to improve relations, get the, the relationship really high, and then I'm going to redo it with a higher percent of trade power. Right. But I ended up having less later because they were pissed off that I canceled it. <laughs> All right, whatever. Where Weird. do I want to keep my republic or tradition at? Like a good number? As high as possible. Right. Ideally, like 100. Okay. And, then, and when an event comes, like if it'll drop me below 80, usually I'll try to avoid it. All right. But other than that, that's like I consider that breathing room. All right, I'm in uh, 83, and I'm at the point where I have to vote. And if I keep the guy again, I'm gonna go below 80. Oh yeah, yeah. If you go yeah. down to zero, you become a monarchy, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, and then you get it up. all the the what are they called reactionaries, revolutionaries, the rebellions that pop up and want to flip you back. Mm. These sieges in Pomerania are actually comical. They've been at 21 percent, I think, since the start of the episode. They roll over and uh, just don't get any stronger. So maybe mm. six episodes from now, we'll talk about this Pomeranian situation. Mm -hmm. Defenders Yeah, desert. I can see Austria is up there kicking their ass for you. Well, now I actually have an army back. Thanks, Austria. Just in time to be totally worthless. Yeah, it's my turn to use Austria, so <laughs> I'm going to, I mean, they, they literally, they have negative two reasons, even while they're at war with Pomerania, to come join my war and kick Ferrara's butt. Mm. So, I get Are them you at war with Ferrara? No, not yet, but my oh. truce just ended, so I'm, I'm, eyeing, I'm eyeballing them. Gotcha. I got two cores that I can take from Ferrara, and Wait. I think Austria's going to come help me do it. Is Lundberg not one of my rivals? What the hell? Yeah, okay, oh, no, I must have misclicked somewhere. Sox Lundberg. Is not a rival. So why am I embargoing them? Crap. Just like for fun, maybe. You know what happened? Oh, I think at some point they were my rival and then they stopped being legit. They stopped <laughs> being a, a, a rival that I could have. But then I was still embargoing them, so I've been losing trade power to that. Boo. So I'm only embargoing Brunswick. Let's do a few more. So if Austria's going to keep giving me money, I'm pretty sure I'm going to improve relations with them some more. <laughs> Just make sure they like me. So remember a few, uh, probably a few weeks ago, I said, how nice would it be if they made it so it automatically consolidates regiments? I just watched it happen in real time. What? Wow. Like I was losing a bunch of gold, and then I went to click consolidate regiments, but they just consolidated themselves, and now I'm making money again. Although, as I that, understand it, like, some people get mad at me for consolidating regiments. So. Yeah, I get the same thing. People are like, stop clicking the button. Um, but I'm like, I don't, okay, I'm sorry. No, there's reasons to do it and reasons not to do it. Like, right now, yeah. I actually want my manpower pool to refill for the quest. Okay. And I'm at my force limit with mercs and I'm making money. So I was like, okay, I'll just consolidate it for now. It'll be okay. Uh, and I don't know. What, what you can do if you consolidate regiments and you have manpower, then you can just like spend money to get them right back up instantly instead of waiting for them to reinforce, which oh, can take forever. Okay. So you consolidate and then build a whole new army. All right. That makes sense. 
I, here I'm doing it for stupid reasons. It's I do it all the time, bad. just just for financial reasons for the most part. So hey, um, I'm on level five military tech, and I've I've always hated the pips system. Mm -hmm. Just I hate it. Um, so like level five, you have three different infantry types to choose from. Yeah, and they all have three total pips. Yeah, but which one is the right one? <laughs> they're all they're all the same in this uh, for this. The only question is the the morale versus the fire slash shock. So fire slash shock will let you do more damage, and morale will let your dudes stay in combat longer mm. and ideally win the battle by outlasting everyone else. Offensive versus defensive makes no difference whatsoever because whether you're the actual instigator of the combat or not, it goes back and forth in phases. So you use both offensive and defensive in every combat, as far as everyone understands it. Right, but. Like, uh, my understanding is, okay, so if I take the Gallo Glass Infantry, I've got two offensive morale. That means that I should do a better job of breaking their morale. No. Versus... No? No, I think in every phase, there's a die roll. Like, so one person... In every phase, someone is the offense and someone is the defense. There's a die roll. You add your pips. And then the difference is how much damage is, is done. And then it flips. The other side does their offense versus the defense there. I think that it does it both every phase. I think that it's yes. my offensive versus your defensive, your offensive versus my defensive. Yeah, whatever. exactly. Yeah. Okay, and so hey, I guess, I, I, think, uh, I guess well, the defense, a higher defense would mean you'd be losing less morale and a higher offense would mean you'd be inflicting more morale damage. To me, that's kind of a wash. Right. But in theory, if you're in an aggressive position and you have better offensive morale, like to kill other armies and like try to route them, maybe the Gallo Glass is better, but I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I guess the offensive might let you stack wipe more often because it might increase the chance that you get the morale down to zero before they can retreat. Right, right. So in um, that I respect, pause, I guess it's better. I paused the game because I have an event to read that's important. So oh, okay. um, the, uh, the Ambrosian Republic. Hey. Yes. Oh, you have a Regency Council. Yeah, the city of Milan was thrown into confusion by the sudden death of the Duke without a respected adult heir. Influential citizens believed that the old republic could be restored. Learned bodies, such as the Colo College of Jurisprudence in Pavia, painted the days of the old republic as a golden age. The, mer the merchants, viewing the prosperity of republican Venice, were behind the idea. A republic was declared, the claimants to the throne driven out of the city. Uh, the new republic was named the Golden Ambrosian Republic, named after the 4th century bishop of Milan. What shall we do? It's a fantastic name. <laughs> so I can either uh, I don't say we need... being involved in this decision. Yeah, we need a duke again and just like say no and lose three stability, <laughs> or I can change to an Ambrosian Republic and piss everyone off. Minus forty with Burgundy, France, Brandenburg, uh, Austria, everyone. You're, you're pissing uh, off all the kingdoms. You're not gonna piss yeah. me off, Arumba. Let's do it. Like that. <laughs> We've gained so the government form war causes belly. So you get ten percent more national tax modifier and five percent morale of armies. That's pretty good. That's way better than like 10% more money oh. from vassals. Who cares about that? This sucks though. It's my elections every three years. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, that's rough. I thought it was going to be a good republic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made no promises about that. I just said you could become a republic. Not that no. I'm trying to rush things through here, but did the robot go off? No. Really? Okay. Time oh, flies. <laughs> Man, that sucks though. That, um... Yeah, three years is tough. I mean, I think is it uh, United States or is it Novgorod that has an eight-year election cycle? I think so. And the um, the Republic in the Netherlands, I think, is pretty good as well. The Dutch Republic, that's a unique form. They can still do royal marriages. It's awesome. Uh, oh, reforms. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. got that bump too. We, right. we should all have. We all have land in the Imperial area. I got to 100% war score and fucking Austria accepted... Separate piece. So now <laughs> I have to go to resiege. Well, I don't actually. I got lucky, and I'll just be able to do that. There we go. So Pomerania is now my vassal. That's that's actually a little bit annoying to me. But yeah, I know. That's what I figured. So. <laughs> I was like, well, this will probably be a little bit of a check to your power slightly. I should support their independence. Nah, not yet. Oh, I can't. Thank God. They hate me. And they love you. What? Yes. Probably because um, I they declared a war on me, and then I was like, you know what? Let's be cool, actually. I'm I'm just sitting here waiting for my aggressive expansion to go away, and I guess to have manpower that would be helpful too. So I don't have I lost my vassal or my rival. Sorry, mm. that's kind of annoying. I should it rival is, you, yeah. actually. I should rival Moonster. They're nah, pretty close and they're kind of dangerous. Don't rival me. And, and they hate me. Moonster, it is. 
No need to rival me. We're cool with one another. Uh, and I hate it. Every time a rival goes away, you lose your longtime rival. Mm. So your uh, your power projection. Oh grows. yeah, that that I guess would be why my power projection is god awful right now. And not only do I have elections every three years, my Republican tradition started at fifty percent. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, I know that, that it went off this time, mm -hmm. but Ooh. I need to do something. Go ahead. Hey, um, so Republican tradition, Quill, this is pretty significant. So it used to be 1% per year, right? Yeah. It's like the, the base gain rate. But look at it. You see, um, based on your power projection, you oh. actually can get up to an extra one per year. Wow. So you can get 2% Republican tradition a year now if you have 100% um, power projection, which is really amazing. Because I'm at 81, and I've only got 0 0.4 from that. Oh, okay. I, I did the math wrong. Yeah, it would be up to uh, an extra uh, up to 0.5. 5. Yeah. But still, That's that still is pretty a good. lot. That is a <laughs> lot of Republican tradition. Yeah, it's, well, it's 40% more per year. Well, we're 50% when it's at the cap. Right. You said you needed some more stuff? No, no, it's uh, it's it's done now. Madness, okay. you're kicking the shit out of Bosnia. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to take Ragusa Whoa. completely and then turn Bosnia into a vassal. Nice. Can you do All that? Right, cool. you, you can accept it and take a full yep. annexation? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I'm not going to full annex them. I'm just oh, going to take Ragusa, yeah, Ragusa I mean. and then turn them into a vassal. That's actually what I should have done. Taken Hinterpommern so I didn't have to wait like eight years for that mission to complete and then annex or so, uh, vassalize the rest. Quill, if I, um, I, can't, I haven't played a Republican in a long time. I can't remember. If I create my ruler as a general and he dies, do you lose stability? I don't know in that case. You don't lose stability when it's a re-election or I think even if your ruler dies normally. If you have him as general, you may or may not. I have no idea. That's okay. That's an edge case I'm not familiar with. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Let's um, end this one. Lots of good stuff happening. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.